to be called foreign agents and they'd have to register as foreign agents. There's a lot of things we can do to shut Israel down. Um, you know, but we don't because there's Congress has been influenced by the Israeli lobby. I mean, Benjamin Netanyahu bragged about it. I'm not making this up. It's not anti-Semitic. He brags about the control he has of Congress. I control them. I bought them. I own them, he says. Come on now, America. When you have a foreign leader who says, I bought Congress, I own Congress, and now he's heading us down a path where we could get dragged into a world war, isn't it time we sort of you know, reflect on the nature of our relationship with that foreign leader in that country? Does the Israeli leadership believe that all men are created equal? If you're a political Zionist, you don't. If you're a political Zionist, you believe in a greater Israel and you believe in the covenant between God and the Israeli people uh, that guarantees them a homeland. Uh, you are the chosen people. And, um, and if, if you get too biblical, uh, you can go into the, 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 the Torah, the Talmud and others, and they use the term goyim. They use other terms that literally mean subhuman, less than you. And so you, you, if you are a religious person, political Zionist, um, you believe you are the superior race and you believe that the Palestinians are subhumans. You believe American Christians are subhumans. I don't understand the connectivity between American Christians and, and Israel because literally, guys, they view you as subhuman. Okay, the, the guys you claim to be, we're not all Israelis. The mo mo majority of Israelis are secular. They, they don't buy into this nonsense. They just want to live in peace. But the political Zionists, the Benjamin Netanyahu's, and the people he surrounded him, yeah, they are a superior race. They view everybody, the Palestinians, Americans, Russians, everybody as subhuman.